it looks like they're all leaving. That is, today we return to talking about everyone's favorite VTuber agency, Wachter, known for releasing private information about not only one of their ex-talents, but then later sending out private information about another one of their ex-talents, as Misora Hina had her private information posted on her Twitter account, her YouTube channel, and also the main Wachter website, wachter.tech, whose security certificate at this very moment is still not secure. The last time we talked about this VTuber agency, they were preparing for two new debuts as their second generation of Wachter boys, comprised of Tenrai Calvis and Ibarra Kiran, decided to quit on their own just before their debut. It has also now been two months since the main Wachter account had tweeted out. That is their talent, Mitsurugi Leah, had quit the group, citing harassment, but now the head of Wachter, Mei Chan, is back since sending out this tweet that only they can reply to and saying coming soon. One week later, we would see what is coming, that being yet another potential debut. This time of this VTuber named Anya Okumura lined up to be a part of their Estella group. No slated time yet for that debut as this model was the last still expected to debut as a part of their Spanish speaking first generation. Here also we have Nana-chan as a part of the Walker personnel introducing this new VTuber, calling her a little demon. Asking, could it be that she is from another world? Anya introducing herself on Twitter with, hello humans, I'm a very curious demon. I want to make many new slaves, <coughs> friends, will you come to see me? That is also with Walker. we had Miriel Kuma, who back in March gave us this important announcement, that regarding her graduation in mid-April. That graduation has now come and gone. However, now we have multiple members of Walker who are MIA, all told totally missing in action since May 11th, over a week ago. Not posting to their Twitter accounts or streaming. And that isn't just one talent, not two talents, not three or even four, but five now, including even Usami Mina, who streams exclusively on Billy Billy. As even on top of that, we do have Leo, who has been taking a small break since March 1st. In the meantime, of course, we do have Misora Hina, now an independent VTuber by the name of Meka, not only streaming regularly, but we also had their former talent Luna Rurini not only returned as an independent VTuber, but having debuted. And that's not all, as another talent of Wachters, Neon Kuroyuri, whose banner actually shows the silhouette for Anya, has also now returned as an independent VTuber. And yes, has debuted. And finally, we have this account saying, Hi, new people. Nice to meet you. So happy to see everyone. Then correcting herself, Wait, no, meet you, meet you. OMG, I can't believe my first tweet has a typo. That all while a former Wachter talent would quote retweet saying, OMG, your hairstyle makes you look like a teddy bear. That then cluing people in that this talent very well could be Miriel Kuma, once again graduated from Wachter and potentially returning as an indie VTuber, tweeting out further. By the way, I don't have to look like anyone. I've always loved stars and space themed stuff, so why not? I chose it because I like it. That's simple. This account would then go on to reply to another account. An account that Meka also is replying to. This particular account looking very similar to the other indie VTubers we just looked at before they showed off their character designs. And in their bio, stating one of five. Further teasing with this silhouette, as we also have others. This account's bio saying they're two of five. Another here with three of five. And there are other accounts out there right now with other potential connections. Plenty of speculation right now, wondering if these accounts belong to current, but possibly soon to be former Wachter VTubers. And now once again at this time, no debut date for their upcoming Estella talent, but what about another one of their talents still in Estella? Well, looking over their likes, there was this one saying, I don't like to talk about my situation because I know if I talk, I'd cry. This one that simply says, suffers quietly, along with numerous other likes that seem to be telling a story. But once again, we could be reading too far into that one, as time will certainly tell what is to become of this Walker talent. And now further along, we turn to Cometa, a Filipino VTuber agency and their former talent, Elaine. Cometa earlier this month sending out this graduation notice citing Elaine's numerous health issues, including deafness in her left ear, chronic pain due to a herniated spinal disc, and schizoaffective disorder. Elaine would go on to graduate last week, all while stunning her viewers, as before the end of the stream, she would go on to 
talk about Elaine 2, citing that Cometa does not have a lot of resources and had plans to recast the role of Elaine. That particular announcement receiving backlash from a segment of fans, then leading to Cometa to days later send out this notice, saying to our supporters, in the interest of addressing the concerns raised by the community, we would like to make clarifications and changes regarding our course of action following Elaine's graduation. We would like to clarify that having a new talent take on the role of Cometa's flagship VTuber was Elaine's choice. It was her decision to ensure there will be a VTuber to carry Cometa's branding and vision. We respect Elaine's wishes in this regard and audition staff will be working with her to select the new talent. Point two, while this talent will carry the legacy of Cometa's flagship VTuber, we would like to make it clear that she will be a separate personality from Elaine. To make the distinction, we will be using a different name and a modified design for her model. And point three, following community feedback, we amend the decision to private and unlist Elaine's stream content. These videos will now continue to be available for everyone to view. The statement would continue on that this is not going to be a standard practice for the other two members of Cometa, as then days later, Elaine, post-graduation, would continue to tweet out, I thought everyone wanted the best for me, and when I felt better and got everything I wanted, everyone else is still hostile and angry at each other. Elaine later then taking to Twitter with a voice tweet stating, I just want to rest. I know it's been difficult, but please, let's all move on. Honestly, it makes me feel really bad that everyone is having all of these misunderstandings and um, all of these negative feelings after I've left, which I, of course, wanted to leave on a good note. And it's really sad that I had to um, address this on a voice message just so people would know that it's actually me using the account but um you know i'm still here as much as i've graduated i'm still um i'm still watching over everyone that's what i said i'd be looking after everyone and you know i always wish the best for everyone i always wish everyone good but for some reason after I've been really happy with the result or the amends that were made by, you know, that I don't have to be replaced, I'm really happy with the result. And for some reason, everyone is still mad at each other. Everyone's still fighting. And at this point, I don't even know anymore whose side everyone is on. And... You know, I just feel like everyone is just using my my graduation as an excuse to hate on each other. And that seriously isn't making me feel any good. And I just want things to stop. I just want things to just, you know, end. And I want to move on, honestly. But thank you for caring about me. But your job is done. Um, it's all done. I want to move on. I'm happy with what's ever, whatever is decided. So thank you. This particular subject covered earlier this week by our own co-host Cody. That video posted to his own YouTube channel and we will have the link below for you. Next up we have Mythic Talent, representing industry leading influencers and content creators. As a disclosure, a group that I'm a part of, but also a group that has been joined by now XV Shoujo Talent Vebe, at the time when she joined Mythic, still a part of V Shoujo. Then later, Natasha Nanners, after having exited from V Shoujo, Joe. And two weeks later, to the very minute, Mythic Talent welcoming Silvervale, the final of the three recent talents that have left V Shoujo. Silver replying, thank you so much, happy to be here, and get so much love and support. That is now we turn to V Shoujo, a talent first VTuber company, with one of those talents being the cyberpunk Zentrea, now celebrating 400,000 Twitch.tv followers. And this past week, also ending her stream early, citing 
getting sickness from eating gas station food. Zentrea during that stream sharing major news and then later taking to Twitter to say, I'm adopted. Surprise. No, this isn't a joke. Though I did ask them as a kid and we all kind of laughed it off. That didn't age well. Surprise. Anyways, it's a lot to process. Thanks to everyone for being there and laughing with me. I'll be donating to a charity that deals with adoption and helping children find homes. I have a lot to figure out. First step, deal with my food poisoning. Much love, everyone. Zentrea then also tweeting, wait, no, I'm not being adopted, guys. I'm almost 30. I found out I was adopted as a baby. Further tweeting out, oh my god, guys. Okay, rephrase. I found out I was given away and adopted as a baby and have an entirely different family. That's the news. That is Zen later would say it's been a crazy week or a few days. Thank you for all the love and for helping me along the way. It's helped me so much to deal with all this. That all while Zen has this coming up May 20th at noon central. A 2.0 debut and birthday along with more. That being for the futuristic Zen debut. As we also have this giveaway. The v Shoujo Talent tweeting out, you guys asked and they answered. Now's your chance to enter and win a figure of, well, me. When does this figure drop? May 20th. So go, hurry. You could actually win. And speaking of figures, we also have Novel Horizons showing us even more work in progress of their upcoming Zentrea figure. Stating final finish not yet applied, so she is shinier than she will be. Also giving us this alternate version with Gecko and further displaying the glow in the dark material. That is next we have the free to play game Smite, who has now officially launched their collab alongside V Shoujo, which due to timing issues does include three V Shoujo members that have since left. One of those being Vebe, who is apparently too powerful for Smite. Smite taking to Twitter and saying, we have disabled the Ve Nuwa skin in game while working on a fix relating to a crashing issue. Force now do state that Ve's skin is back in the game at this time. As further with V Shoujo, we have Iron Mouse seeing herself displayed in her very own Steam library. That is, Moten Do with V Shoujo would notice that the Smite cross V Shoujo collab was featured on the front page of Steam itself. Earlier this morning, Smite stating there's no better time to dive into the Smite cross V Shoujo event than now. Pick up skins for your favorite VTubers while the event is at its highest discount in game. That bringing us now over to Fruit, the V Shoujo talent asking, you mean I have to go outside? And now celebrating 400,000 Twitch followers. This as Fruit would celebrate her inclusion into the Smite game with her very own Smite streams, all while receiving this Smite cross V Shoujo collab artwork coming by way of Soraimi. And further, we return to the genius of V Shoujo. It's Henya. The mic that I'm using right now for streaming is a Shure SM7B. No, I, I bought it like really long time ago. Years ago or stuff like that. Years? You just stop. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, <laughs> I have no excuse. <laughs> This genius not only being captured here by Fua Fua, but further in this animated piece between her and Zen, that once again from Ronnie, that is Henya is now celebrating 100,000 Twitch.tv followers, all while Ironside PC has made it official as this genius case and build option is now available. And that's not all that is available as Henya also took to Twitter to remind us that the debut merch is available for a limited time until May 31st. This all occurring as Henya Kenya was having serious problems with Twitter, unable to see her own account and her own tweets, asking others, do you guys see my tweets? Further on stream, Henya would be asked if she has any plans to stream on YouTube. Are you going to do a YouTube stream ever? I don't know. I don't know. Nah. So far, I've been thinking about streaming on Twitch, though, but nah. I don't know. Never, never think about it. Nah. So... Maybe in the future, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. 
But I see a lot of JP people start using the Twitch as well. Very happy to see it. Very happy to see it though. I love both platforms to be honest. Both are good. They all, uh, they both have pros and cons. So, so I love both platforms though. Further along, we have the Anime Expo, aka AX, taking place from July 1st to the 4th at the Los Angeles Convention Center. AX now releasing their exhibit hall map as located here at booth 2615. Bishoujo is center aisle with a very sizable booth. Many expecting major announcements from this VTuber agency at that event. As lastly today, we check in with Hololive and one of their directors, A-Chan, who this week Weekend, we'll have a special stream on the Hololive English YouTube channel. That's right, it's not dead! As recently, Hololive has remembered that they have a Hololive English YouTube channel and has returned to posting up videos and even streaming on the channel. HN will be drawing the girls' portraits, those being the members of Hololive English, to make a digital message board for the upcoming Holo Ian Connect concert. That stream taking place once again on the main Hololive English YouTube channel, May 20th at 6 7.30 p.m. Pacific, 10.30 Eastern. And also with Hall Live English, we have Mori Calliope, musician, streamer, and also Death. Callie being a part of this announcement from Hall Live, saying one of our biggest collab songs in 2022, Bad in Night, has passed 1 million views. Thank you for your support. Then while the rapping Reaper would show off her support of Hall Live, tweeting out this display of relaxed time figures, including not only her own figure, as seen from very different positions. One of these positions seen here from Hall Live English's Takanashi Kiara and this work from Dust Doctor. That is Callie would share, my voice is gone. I hate summer sickness. I just want to stream. And what a stream she returned with. Mori Calliope tweeting out, I did it everyone. This is peak. Raid Shadow Legends legendary sponsor stream Ikazo. Callie also taking to the pre-stream chat to say, cat food ain't cheap. This all while she has returned with yet another tabletop RPG. Inviting in and other members from not only Hall Live English, but also Hollow Stars English. And regarding her previous tabletop RPG series, we can personally confirm this as Tyler Not Taylor would tweet out Callie's Mythbreakers playlist is looking a tad bit moist. Yes, it's true. The Mythbreakers playlist does have a moist critical video on it, reminding us of two years ago when Takanashi Kiara would also include a random Madonna video in her own playlist. And speaking of Hollow Stars English, we have Gavis Battle recently celebrating his birthday, going on to not only receive well wishes from those in Hollow Live, but also well wishes from members of V Shoujo and Niji Sanji. The Hollow Stars English talent had a lot to show off for his birthday stream, including new emotes, a brand new animated background, the release of a brand new cover song, and of course, merchandise, including a bottle, knitted cap, socks, and battle card. This brings us to Vettel's very loving character illustrator, Senzaki Makoto, sharing this artwork and stating I created the birthday art for Gavis Vettel. I have painted a lot of celebration art, but this is the first time I have had a fire scene ordered. Happy birthday, beware of fire. That all while we had this celebration artwork by way of Girl DM saying happy birthday, Vettel's. That's right, there's not only one Vettel, but now there are two. Seen here from Chul, given the title of Vettel 2 Mama, but then that leading to a poll asking who is the cooler battle and the results of that poll leading to battle 2 to far exceed the original. This getting the attention of Battle's character illustrator, then taking to Twitter, expressing how they were disappointed in themselves and their abilities to create a cool character. Numerous users on Twitter then immediately telling this character illustrator that this was simply a misunderstanding as Senzaki Makoto would further tweet out, I am sorry. I had a misunderstanding about cool. Thanks to those who pointed out my mistake and replies. Sorry for the confusion. I should have been more knowledgeable about the nuances of language and memes. I only gave priority to my own desire to apologize and express my efforts. I failed to scrutinize things carefully. I am truly sorry. Battle would further tweet. I would just like to say that Senzaki Makoto is truly the best mama I could ever ask for. I wouldn't change a thing about me. And I am so happy that I was made to be so beautiful. Mama, your art is stunning 
watching. Thank you for all that you do. Further, this artwork was posted stating, Senzaki Mama, we love you. Thank you for your beautiful design and art of battle. This by way of Zay, further saying, Senzaki Mama, don't worry. We are sorry that there has been a misunderstanding. Language barrier is difficult, so I hope this drawing will convey our feelings. We love you and your art so much. Thank you for being an amazing mama to battle. We will cheer you on always. That is better would go on to say, this has been the best birthday since ever. Thank you all for the love and support. I want to cry. And now coming to us with even more Hall Live news is our co-host Cody. Take it away. Ko hi yo. It's not about the size, but how you use it. As we look towards Uzura Subaru, who handled the sausages of nine different talents in her Sausage Legend 2 Hall Live tournament. On one side of the bracket, an intense battle of the best Subaru sausage happened between Sakamata Chloe and Shiragani Noel. Chloe went on to tweet, I lost in Subaru's passion for sausages. Meanwhile, on the other side of the bracket was a battle of Yabai between Shirakami Fubiki's short meat and Okayu, commenting on its thickness. The finals consisted of Fubuki going up against Ahijo, Noel, who ended up the queen of sausages. She went on to tweet, I've been the queen of worms in the past, referring to her winning the worms tournament, and I seem to have a connection with thin, long things. The official Sausage Legend account retweeted this, giving her a congratulations. In other news, Ligma strikes again. This time, it is the elite idol Sakura Miko, who has been confirmed positive for the virus and had to pull out of the Sausage Legend tournament as a result. Miko went on to tweet more in insight, saying, I was thinking my throat isn't getting better, so I went to the hospital and was confirmed positive on retest. I don't have a fever, but I do have a sore throat and cough. She also added that she has not been in contact with anyone, including staff, since she's felt ill. Miko is taking a rest well deserved, as this week she is celebrating 3.5 million views on her cover of Strong Wind All Back, and has her first long feature interview with pop culture media site Kaiyu. Fully recovered from Ligma is La Plus Darkness, who held a stream talking about her recovery and what she's been doing and planning in the meantime. Laplace has also posted some photos of her recent visit to the Hollow Cross Sweets Paradise collab, saying, I came with the executives and the samurai. We enjoyed delicious food, nice aesthetics, and happy moments. Laplace also posted a short video of her showing off her elite dancing skills, performing the choreography for Kiara's Do You. In celebratory news, we turn to Holic Society's Sakamata Chloe, who held her first ever birthday 3D live stream filled with singing and physical as well as guest appearances from the rest of Hollux. Although no Chloe segment is complete without an illegible handwritten note with fans attempting to crack the code. As one user tweeted, decoding complete, most likely wrong. And Kamishiro Taishi translating it further, with Chloe saying, I hope you continue staying by my side as we share laughter, tears, and so many more emotions. New merch was released, which includes a handler certificate for looking after the stinky orca, as well as a release for her brand new original song called Paralyze. Mobile game Valkyrie Connect, of which Chloe is currently on a Hololive collab with, wished her a happy birthday. And so did Shimada, who created the anime opening for Chloe's birthday live. Sakamata Chloe also released the MV for the cover of Perfect Crime that she performed on her birthday, with the original artist tweeting, thank you so much Chloe for the wonderful cover. In Cover Corp news, we look at Business Insider Japan, who interviewed the best idol Yago, talking about Cover Corp's growth and future plans. Yago explained that VTubers can break the barrier of YouTube and exist in other forms and mediums outside of the platform. Platform. Highlighting Sakura Miko as a Tokyo tourism ambassador, Hoshimachi Suisei on the first take, and Yukihana Lamy's Sake receiving a bronze award at the International Wine Challenge 2022. This, as in the most recent financial documents released from cover, also include plans to debut new VTubers in both Japan and overseas for the financial year of 2024, as well as participate in many more overseas events. Lastly, in today's news, we revisit the statement released by cover in regards to supporting the talents, which Force covered in the last episode. Episode, as some of the Hololive girls have shared their thoughts and feelings on the guidelines, giving us some insight into how things have been for them. With Fubuki saying, I used to be scared and worry about whether people would like me or not, but everything ended up going in the right direction. Now I think, I'm glad I took this stance. Thank you for always accepting me. Aki Rose also added her thoughts on the topic, saying, I'm sure it's not just for Hololive and VTubers, and I think this mindset is something everyone should cherish. Also adding, it's not just common sense, as maybe some days people aren't convinced or might not understand 
understand why we choose to try new things. Aki Rose would be very, very happy if you are a supporter who can cherish our time instead of taking it for granted. Yoza Ramel said, I think this is the best for everyone to have fun and for me to have fun doing different things. I can't have fun without everyone and you are all so important to me. I'm especially anxious when I try something new, but feel relieved when you kindly watch over me. Let's continue to have fun together. This Estekane Louie went on to tweet her thanks, saying, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for finding me. Thank you for accepting me. Without you all, our activities would not continue. And I want to create an environment where we can work towards our goals together. Lastly, Sakura Miko also highlighted the new post, saying here are some warm and friendly guidelines. You always support me a lot. Let's keep walking together. But that's everything from me. Back over to you, false. Thank you very much, Cody. And now with even more things VTubers say, we have our co-host, Heidi. Hi, hi, everyone. Starting off, we check in with Production Kawaii and their collaboration with Wonderverse as both their first and second gen will be available on the Wonderverse app for a limited time only, letting you interact with your portable idols from your very phone. Production Kawaii will also be live at Ofkai Expo for 3D events alongside Wonderverse, so be sure to say hi. And speaking of 3D events, Production Kawaii had also announced the debut dates for their talent's 3D regular outfit debuts, occurring on May 27th and 28th, with more details being revealed soon. Also continuing with the 3D debuts are the members of Vispo, where the talents will not only be debuting their 3D models, but will also be collaborating with one another. The schedule of each 3D reveal and collaboration is shown here, with the event split up into four different groups on four different dates, so you can be sure that each debut collab will be special indeed. Vispo also commemorates the birthday of their talent Cupid Kanari with the sale of birthday goods. The order period going on from May 18th all the way to June 1st, and in addition to that, the talent will also be selling signed postcards as well, making the autograph unique and personalized to the purchaser, as a Google form is provided to include the name you wish to be written down. And moving on, we have Lucid Multimedia's Rosa Kotal, who celebrates her birthday tomorrow, and also has been holding a birthday donathon from the start of May that will be ending on the 21st right after her birthday, showing off various incentives here, as well as announcing that the 4K goal has been hit, assuring that a Rosa 2.0 will be happy thanking everyone for the donos and also showing off some other silly goals for the remainder of the donathon, some of which even Lucid is confused over but nonetheless supportive of. And speaking of which, Lucid announces the deadline for their auditions to be June 23rd for all of those still thinking of sending in an application. And lastly, we take a look at Prism Project's Ami Amami, who surprisingly found herself caught up in Tenma Miami's anti-frog agenda after Tenma had asked not to be tagged in anything frog related and even responding to Tenma's threats of throwing her in soup, going so far as to interpreting it as a hot tub stream. Though this ended up as a new opportunity, as this feud gave Tenma some ideas for a potential collab, the two then forming an alliance in the meantime. And as we wait on this collab, we can also celebrate Ami's monetization, as today the talent will be premiering a cover of Idol from Oshinoko, as well as holding a karaoke concert and more during her stream. So be sure to swing by to celebrate. And that's all for me. Back to you, false. Thank you, Heidi. And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send in your VTuber news to our Discord. We record live on Twitch.tv, and we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon.